So today we're going to cover the features of the 19 PLB and the 18 PLB EBM paper cutter. What you're looking at is the control panel of the paper cutter, the display. The display is going to give you all the criteria of everything that's going on on the paper cutter. For instance, right now we have 8 as a clamping pressure. The clamping pressures on these electric paper cutters are totally adjustable. So if you're cutting things such as NCR stocks or something of that nature, you have the ability to adjust up or down your clamping pressures just by pushing buttons. Okay, So we can lower our clamping pressure to a very minute and weak clamping pressure or we can raise it up to a high clamping pressure for cutting heavier card stocks and things of this nature that you want no paper draw on. The idea that we have an electronic paper cutter gives us the ability to do this. It's the control modules in the paper cutter and DC drive motors that allow us to adjust clamping pressures. Another facet that the paper cutter has is being able to set it for push outs. If you look at this area right here that looks like a small bridge and we hit the push out button, you'll see an area on top of it that just lit up, a little arrow. That means after we do a cut, it's actually going to push the paper out to us after our cut. We can turn that on and off once again by just hitting the push out button. Or anywhere during a cycle we can hit push out and it'll push our paper stocks out to us. The paper cutter starts at it wherever its last cut was at and the arrows you see or the lines you see below it are going to be the cuts that are subtracted from it. So let's say we started our cut. Let's go ahead and just set a keypad for 12 inches on a cut. If you notice down here it says 12 inches. We're going to hit OK. Our paper cutter is going to 12 inches and it starts at 12 inches. We're going to go ahead and do a cut. So it knows that's the start sequence. So let's say our next cut is going to be at 10 inches. As you can see, it went to 10 inches. We hit OK. Now it goes to 10 inches. Now and we have it set for a push out, so it's going to do an automatic push out after the cut. It'll continue to operate this manner through a manual system until we program something else into it. All we have to do is program something else into it. We have program modules that you can go through or you can go back to manual. So anytime you're in a manual mode, you're basically just going to program what you want to cut. If we went back to 10 inches or let's clear it out and say we wanted uh, um, 2 inches, 530 thousandths. And we hit OK. That's what it's going to go to. 2 inches, 530 thousandths. So this is all manual just by programming a keypad on a manual and you have a, a 10 digit or 9 digit with a 0 keypad for programming that. Next you have your other features though. You have true program modes. Your true program modes give you a lot of capability. We're going to go to our first program mode which is giving us the capability of programming in a, a variety of cuts. So each cut will step and repeat and go to the next cut. This also gives you the ability to change programs and keep these program modes so you can continually set them up for each customer base as they come in for jobs that continually come in that you are going to refer to. Right now we have a variety of program modes put in. Uh, it's saying M03 because that's the next one we have open. But if we wanted to go to a new mode, we can clear this out. and Let's say we want to go to program mode 1. We hit OK. As you can see, program mode's already pre-programmed in it. We can change this mode at any time we want just by stepping down. Let's say this went from uh, being a 5-inch cut to a 7-inch cut. All we have to do is put 7 inches in there. Hit OK. Now we have 7 inches there. So as we do each one of these cuts, it's going to step and mark its way down and then return back to the initial cut. So we're going to go ahead and set up a new program though. We're going to go into a different one. As you see right here, this is blanked out. We're going to go into program, let's say, 4, which is going to be a totally new program. I'm going to show you how you set up a program. Let's say our first cut was at uh, uh, eight and a half inches. Let's take a simple one. We have a 17 inch stock and we'll go cut it in half. So we go eight and a half inches in our program. 
Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit our program mode. We're going to blank it out. And it's going to go to eight and a half inches. We're going to hit OK. We're going to move our arrows down. We're going to go to our next one. Let's say we wanted eight and a half cut in half, so we're going to do four and a quarter. So we would do the same thing. We'd hit our clear button and go 4.25, OK? And we can continue going on with this cycle. And then it'll step back to the next one. We'll just do one more to give you an idea. Let's say we went took the next one down to um, 2 inches, 100 thousandths. We would basically go, we would clear it out. We would go 2, 1, 0. So now we have 2 inches, 100 thousandths. All right? So you'll see how it operates as it goes through the cut cycle. It goes first to eight and a half inches. Our next step, as you can see, it went to four and a quarter. Then our next step, it goes down to 210. Then it returns back to its eight and a half inches. This is how all your program modes operate. And you can change any of these modes in any one of your program key areas anytime you want. All you have to do is clear them out. We could clear this whole system out and have a blank program in program four if we wanted. So it's that simple. It's that easy to set up programs and maintain them in memory. And at any time you can go back to whatever program that you desire to go back to. It's very easy to do that also. All you do is hold down the memory key and let's say we want to program two this time. Program two we programmed in eight and a half and five and a half. So it's that simple to use the program mode. Now we're going to show you another mode the machine has. So now we've gone through the manual mode and then we've gone through the programming mode. Next we have a step and repeat mode for cutting things like business cards or possibly cutting uh, index cards or ticket books or something of this nature. Now to get into the different modes we hit our mode button once again. Our mode button now is taking us to the index mode. We have our manual mode which is just programming to go wherever we want to do our cut. We have our program mode which means that we can multiply cuts as they go down the cycle or we have our index mode. So let's say on the index mode we wanted to uh, cut business cards out or something of this nature. And we're going to do a, a cut out of a quarter of an inch on each side or a half inch on each side. And we start with something like a 10 inch piece of paper or anything of that nature. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and start with our first one set at 10 inches. We're going to clear it out and we're going to put it at 10 inches. This is just to give you an idea. That's programmed in now at 10 inches. Now anything we divide into that will automatically divide into that 10 inches. So we get, go down to our next mode. So let's say we want to cut 10 inches up into 2 inch categories. It's as simple as doing the same thing. Holding down our clear key to clear it all out and hitting 2 inches. So now it's set up on 2 inches. It's automatically going to go to the 10 on our very first cut. And you'll see it light up 10 inches here. Now each time we cut it's going to step down two inches at a time. After our last cut, it automatically returns back to the 10 inch where it started. And very similar to your standard programming where you can put a multiplicity of programs in, you can also set up a multiplicity of programs in here. For instance, if we wanted to go to a different program mode, one that's empty, and add another one in, we could go to program mode, let's say number 5. Since there's nothing in that, we could program 5. If we were ever wanted to come back to the mode we were in, which is program one, we'll just clear that out, or I believe we went two, we'll go back to two and hit two. That's what we just put in there, ten and two inches. If we wanted to go to another one that we have in here, we can clear that out and put program one. 
and it'll do whatever we had in program one. So it's that simple. And at any time, like all the programs, all you have to do is hit the clear key, and you can clear the program out and put something else in there if you desire, if you've used up all of your programs that are in the system. So this is the machine. This is the 19 and the 18 PLB. It has your manual mode, two different types of programs, a standard program mode that you enter a variety of program sets into it, and then an indexing mode that you enter uh, one cut length and then multiply it down into cut sectors.